Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here, and man, it's a nice sunny evening. Uh, this morning it was awful, man. What a storm rolled through, but it's beautiful now. We do have a slight breeze coming out of the north, so we're going to take off towards the pond, but it should be a beautiful flight today, guys. I'm just going to try to cruise around. In fact, I got it set on low rates to start out with, and uh, we'll start out that way, and then we'll see how it's feeling, and... Who knows? I might just throw everything at it, but I'll do what I can. Let's see what I, how it goes. Let's get this thing in the air. All right, guys, we're in low rates. Let's start with one click on the flaps for the takeoff. Throttle cut off. Like I said, the wind is coming out of the north, so we'll take off that direction. Should be a nice, easy takeoff here. The commander. Ooh, well, it wasn't exactly how I planned it. Because I took off in low rates, I am assuming, uh, that was a little bit scary. <laughs> so, I just barely cleared the parking block, if you didn't notice. And I let it get over there. I wasn't given near enough elevator, because I'm sure I'm used to flying it in high rates. And it, it might be, well, it's not too bad. I was thinking that it might be nose heavy. I did put the battery up in there a little farther than I might have normally. It looks like it's pretty even on the nose drop. So we'll just keep going like this. And we go up to at least middle rates now, just to make sure I got plenty of throw on the sticks. And of course it does feel much better that rotation is much more responsive and the elevator also beautiful roll i do love this airplane that checkerboard on the bottom of the wing is just fabulous man i <laughs> i don't know how many terms i can use but i just love the way that looks on the bottom of the wing to the turn as I do a figure eight and <laughs> I lost track of what I was doing the roll this way was much easier but let's bring it back a little closer got it kind of worked out there with those figure eights zero throttle as I just kind of soar past kick that throttle down we are flying on the 4s 3200 today guys I think, I totally think I could get the 5000 in there, but it has a different size plug, right? It's got the IC5 connector, so I would need to use the adapter to be able to work it down to the IC3. I do have that adapter. That's what I did use when I used the 5000 last time. Oh, that was beautiful, man. What a, that was such a nice level roll. <laughs> I usually am not that good. I usually got an arc to it kind of like that one, but that was amazing. <laughs> Love that. I wish I could do those every time, but it wasn't exactly on, I mean, I was trying to keep it level, but I usually aim that nose up just a little bit to make sure that it has room to fall. It just happened to be perfect lots of power there we haven't done any knife edges and I do want to do them from right to left because of the wind today it's actually the wind actually feels like it's coming from my back now and that might have been part of the reason for the the trouble I had on my takeoff you can see it dropping just a little bit on that knife edge but not too bad a little wheels up action Carry a little more power to make sure it's staying up. We'll keep this going just a little bit longer. Try not to get too high up. Lots of pressure on the stick as I bring it by nice and low. And take it up into the stall. Use that rudder to push it over. Come out, let's do a loop. We're still in mid rates. It's a nice big loop, not too big really. 
and uh, we'll bring it back around here with a roll nice big roll and as I bring it back around this way we will roll to inverted coming out of that for the outside loop really big actually and that's full elevator coming out wanted to make sure it didn't get too low because it felt really big and uh, not too bad though not too bad show pass and it's easier to do here because I just make it curve around me instead of trying to carry it straight down the runway as we want to call it the parking lot if I were to try and bring it straight down through here you would want to do like a knife edge or something to get that angle but I just curl it around me and that gives me the perfect angle for the presentation pass or stepping up that throttle trying to keep it from falling all maybe because of where I do have the battery placed. Like I said, the wind definitely feels like it's coming from my back now. So when it is time to land, I'm definitely going to have to bring it in uh, from my front to my back towards the sun. Not my favorite, but I can do it. There you go, two nice, wow, that was pretty awesome too. Impressing myself today, guys. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying it too, but I'm pretty happy with those rolls right there. Nothing like getting two really nice rolls. A little bit low there, that's a little correction. Looked really awkward, so not quite as nice on that attempt, but having fun, that's what it's all really about. Is and uh, I did have some fun on Saturday. I flew with a few friends. Oh. I got out with my buddy Alan, Dave, and uh, K9. K9 Gary, as I like to call him. Those guys were out and about, and we flew together. I had my nitro powered Cap 232. All right, guys, I'm running my flight a little bit long. Uh, so let's get the flaps down. And we'll bring it around here down the main drag. I'm actually going to just stay right here and we'll do it away from me. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. Let's do it again. We'll leave those flaps right on down so I can bring it in see if I can butter this thing. A little maybe a little let's go with half throttle on this landing it looks like it's dropping with half throttle so we'll just keep it coming right along nice and easy I'll take that that was nice flaps off make it taxi a little nicer so I did something new uh, I needed to haul this airplane in the back of my wife's car and it was rolling around and I was like what am I gonna do and I was trying I was thinking oh I'll grab a towel and wrap it around the wheels and it won't roll around and uh, we went into Dollar General and I grabbed some socks I got some little kids socks and they went right over the wheel pants and the wheels and it worked perfect unfortunately I wasn't able to fly we went to a, some birthday party parties at a soccer park but it was just crazy windy so guys man i just love flying the e-flight commander it is such an awesome airplane and so worthy with the 4s power i know that it the red one flew great on 3s uh just always and plenty of people did it felt like it needed just a little bit more power and so there was a lot of people modified them with the 4s system and uh, when E-Flight did it with this airplane, I knew I had to have it, and it just is amazing. Guys, here's a sock that I used. It's just a little kid's sock, and it fits right over the wheel pants and the wheels, and it keeps it from rolling around. I'm just so proud that I thought of that. I've never seen anybody do that before, and uh, I didn't have to worry about it, like, bouncing around in the back of her car, but... 
uh, it kept rolling, you know, forward and back, and I was hoping to keep it from banging into stuff. So that's what I came up with. If you guys are interested in that, just go out and buy you a cheap pair of socks for kids, and it should work okay. Uh, big thanks to the Lord for a beautiful day out here, and I uh, appreciate all of your guys' support. Until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. Oh, 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 oh,